In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to install Exchange 2010 Client Access Server. We're going to begin by adding some rules to our Windows 2008 server. So under Rules, we go to Next and we're going to add the Web Server rule and also the Application Server rule. Add the required features and follow through with the wizard. For the web server rule or IIS, we're going to add all security options or and all compatibilities for ISX and then we're going to go next. We may also want .NET. So now we're going to click on install. And then when this rule installation completes. We're going to begin the Exchange 2010 CS installation. So all components have been installed and we now proceed with the Exchange 2007 CS installation. We need to first select a language option. and then go to install. So we just follow through with the wizard. Accepting the license agreements. And then we select the rules that we will want to install. We're going to go to custom because we would like to specifically select the rule that we want to install. In this case we will only be installing the client access rule. and in the rule selection screen we would only like to install the client access rule and we will leave the other fields blank or we can enter this information now we can enter it now and or do it later on but for now I'm going to enter the mail the internet URL or the internet name that clients will use when attempting to access the server from the internet. So some prerequisite checks are being made before the installation continues. So just one setting needs to be made here, and that is the .NET TCP port sharing service needs to be set to automatic. We're going to try the readiness check again. I 
Okay, so the readiness checks have completed, completed successfully, and now I'm just going to click on install and wait for the installation to complete. Okay, so fast forward to the finalization of the installation, and then we click on finish. And to verify that everything is in order, we can open the Exchange Console. Okay, it's opened up automatically after installation. And then we should see the name of the server along with the rules that have been installed for the server. So under the server configuration tab, we see the rules for the specific servers that you have within our organization. So for the CS server, we have the client access rule. And then we have two other servers in this exchange organization, which runs multiple rules. So lastly, to verify that your CS server is working, you can attempt to log in via the Outlook Web Access interface by typing the following URL. You're going to get a certificate error due to the fact that by default the certificate generated is a self signed certificate by Exchange 2010 itself. So I'm going to attempt to log into a user's mailbox and you may have to use the domain in front of the username. Okay, the error I got there is as a result of attempting to use the mailbox for a exchange 2003 user so I'm going to use a 2010 user this time so there, there we go that's it so that's how we verify that the Outlook web app running on the client access server that we just installed is working.